Cinema 40 2026 is here, and I'm gonna give you the quick rundown of what I found is new and cool and helpful, uh, and basically what the big difference is, uh, because honestly, there's not that much, if I'm completely honest. Uh, they've got the new logos, which is cool. I say there's not that much. There is a lot, but it's not that exciting. Does that make sense? Well, we'll explain. We're gonna cover what's changed and what's new basically, but I want you guys to comment below like just your overall feel about C4D these days and like how you feel about it, how you feel about it compared to other engines like Unreal Engine or Blender, things like that. What is it about C4D and Redshift that really has you pulled in or are you now thinking, okay, C4D really needs to start up in its game uh, to really make it that much better or are you kind of like, oh, I. This, this part of C40 makes it an absolute yes for me. Just to kind of get the opinions out there, because some people might see something that's like, oh, actually, I think that would be very important to me as well. And so that's really good to know that C40 can do that. So just help each other out uh, and let me know um, what else you guys want to see from C40 and stuff like that as well. But uh, yeah, let's dive into what is uh, new. <laughs> So new logos and stuff, cool, everything's together now, Red Shift, ZBrush, all that, Red Giant, whatever. Oh, cool. Cineware, new Cineware version, that's good. Uh, so that's nice. It does work with 5.6, so that's good to, to see. Uh, new Red Shift logo, I guess. It's fine. Whatever. C40 logo, cool. Anyway, uh, I'm not into all that stuff. I don't care. I just want to know if it, what's new. So the first thing I do when I check out what's new is I come in here and I go to the Asset Browser and I get rid of this and oops, I come in here to the asset browser and I go over here to new capsules and I click that. And here you can see there are 820 items. Now that was exciting to see that at first, but now as I drive through here later, what I notice is that all of these are not new. Uh, but what they have done, and I will say props to whoever went through and did this because it seems tedious, um, but they have gone through and updated anything in there that had textures or materials. And it was like a basic C4D material. It now is a Redshift material. And I guess they used to work with Redshift kind of, but here's the best example. It's like the new like cars, right? So we had models, we had cars, and they were all these like old materials um so let's go ahead and find a car real quick this there it is see here's the old one car hatch new one old van new van so they've updated all of them so that's really really good and they've got um some new product stuff which is nice as well uh but yeah let's take we can take a look at this car real quick we'll just slap it in here boop and we'll take a look at that one second so that's good the ai search okay I say car. Okay, good. So now it's brought in tires and screws and nuts and stuff, which is nice. Um, gears. A frog. Thanks, AI search. That's what I wanted. I didn't know that I needed a frog hood ornament on my car, but now I do. Okay, let's slap that on there. Perfect. Just like that. Excellent. And we'll make him... Yeah. I mean, the car paint looks good, right? I'd buy that. I think a toad should be a hood ornament on a car. There you go. Like that. Like real spread eagle just sticking out there. Oh, me. Yeah. So let's take a look at the interior here. Inside the car. Now we're in. 18. So we get a nice wide angle of what is it, what it's like inside this car. And it is very shiny and not detailed at all. Okay. Did not know that. Okay, so it's just for exterior purposes, and that's why it's rigged, so that's... Okay, so that's the first big change. It's like everything is now Redshift, finally. Actually, Redshift, they've got all these nice new materials and things. Uh, they've packaged them up, these nice little images to give you ideas and stuff. A lot of it still is within the Maxon 1 paywall, um, but they are good quality, and a lot of them have like triplanar stuff set up and everything. Very cool. Now, if you want uh, even more materials, you can definitely check mine out, as well as things like Kitbash and Grace Gorilla, which have teamed up now, uh, if, That's which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, my stuff is going to be not subscription-based, and you can pay one low price for it and have it forever, just saying. Uh, but yeah, uh, so check that out, link below. <laughs> but yes, um, 
that's really cool. And they look really good. And there's like new ropes and things. Now a lot of them are and still behind the maximum one paywall. There's no new substance materials, which is a bummer. Um, but it's pretty cool. A lot of it, you know, if you're going to go ahead and use ZBrush and stuff, the max on one paywall is definitely like worth getting through it just to get that. And then you get access to all this stuff. Um, you know, it's up to you and what you need basically, but the glasses and stuff are always like a strength of C4D. Beyond that, there's not really any new features. There's not any new liquid improvements or anything that I can tell. Uh, there is a new preference option. You can now choose the change the way you drag and clone objects. You can make them be at the same level, the top, the bottom, previous, next, parent, child, or root. That's new. Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, the as far as like, I mean, it's great. Uh, I, it feels like this is what should have happened when C40 and Redshift first paired. And obviously it just takes a bunch of time to go through that much old stuff and update it all. Um, but I'm glad that they have. And I think that's, it's now like baseline where it should be um, for the amount that it costs. Um, but it is great. And now that it is there, I mean, C40 is still fantastic. Um, and it's really good, and I think, uh, let's just take a look at, and one more thing that I noticed uh, is that now when you add a new light, uh, you don't have to go in and like set the details for the camera set to zero anymore. It just automatically is, because I think everybody went in and did that anyway. I'm not sure that it even was on purpose, that it was not that way, because obviously, you know, now when you turn it on, you will see the light, okay, which is cool, but... Here's the other thing that I've noticed about that and lights and stuff is whenever you had a scene before, let's say you got dome light, uh, you get it all the way up to one and you've got one area light back here set to like maybe like three or something. It's pretty big and we've got the spread kind of down. Cool. Whenever you would come in here and add like a redshift environment, it would like be blown out. Now it's not. It actually looks decent and we can say, crank up the GI and then we can also do the environment fog here and increase that which is kind of like this haze basically so you've got this fog depth that you can crank and control like that and so what we can do is we can come in here to our dome light again and still tell it not to affect the volume at all and so now we just have our our main light if you want and this one uh, we can still come in here and back to our environment now and now, you know, we can really, we've got viewing distance, which is a new thing with meters. So you can see how far, you know, you can make it. So it's like, boom. And then do the anistropy and stuff like that and adjust the fog height and all that stuff, which is cool. That's all new. Uh, I, I like that. I'd like to dive into that some more. One thing that is missing that I really wish was there is more tune shader presets uh, for Redshift. So... For the most part, quick overview, 2026, it's now things that weren't Redshift are Redshift. Um, that seems to be it for now. Hopefully they announce that they're gonna do more stuff with Liquid and things. Um, all right, after that, I think it's pretty clear what needs to be done. Here we've got our monthly subscription. Go ahead and, go ahead and do that. <sighs> so many good reasons to choose uh where's the multiple can i choose multiple okay um 